I've been getting this question asked a lot lately. Can you have more than one dark night of the soul, which is technically an ego death? If you guys don't know what a dark night of the soul is, I, you know, I can explain it. I've explained it many times in my videos, but I'm happy to explain it again. A dark night of the soul can happen for various reasons. It's not always caused by, you know, from a twin flame journey. It can happen um, due to a divorce, due to the loss of a loved one, due to the loss of a career, you know, just something traumatic happening in your life. However, on the twin flame journey, I like to say that it's kind of like that song, The First Cut is the Deepest by Sheryl Crow. I always say that the first dark night of the soul tends to be the hardest, tends to be the worst. However, I have had some clients where the second one was harder than the first. A dark night of the soul essentially is a really, really, really difficult, difficult time. It's a transition in your life where you are shedding your ego and you're going through this transition where you're waking up spiritually. You're not really sure what's happening to you, but what happens in dark night of the soul is you have uncontrollable crying. Like you do not know why you're crying. You can't stop crying. You could have panic attacks, anxiety. Um, you may have suicidal thoughts. Doesn't mean you're going to act on it, but it's just the thought again. It's just more of a feeling of like, you don't want to be here. You temporarily don't want to be here. Um, usually can't sleep. You know, you really can't sleep. Go through insomnia again, because you're crying and you have anxiety. So of course you're not going to be able to sleep. You usually can't eat, although I've had some clients where it was the opposite. They ate too much stress eaters. And on the twin flame journey, when it happens on the twin flame journey, it typically happens right when separation is occurring. Okay, so that first initial one will happen right as separation, I just saw two, 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 right as separation is about to occur or right after it occurs. Okay, so sometimes there will be this like shock factor. You'll feel it in your soul that you're about to go into separation and to no contact um, is what we should really be saying with your, your divine counterpart. When that happens, your soul goes into shock. You go through dark night of the soul and you start to shed your ego. Now, when it happens multiple times, the reason why this happens is because you have still not shed your ego completely. So a lot of times, this is actually why the divine masculine will come back into your life um, to trigger you, okay? that Those little mini reunions that some people have the twin on the twin flame journey, the divine masculine is coming back. It is not always to fully come into union, especially if it's just like the first time that they're coming back um, after, you know, like after a long time, because that separation is for you to prepare, is for you to ascend, is for you to work on yourself. So if the divine feminine is really working on themselves and ascending, you know, doing the healing, doing transcending the mind, you know, letting go of their ego and working on their soul, then most likely your divine masculine is not going to come into your life for some time because you are doing the work, you are preparing, you are having that preparation. And they're going to know on a spiritual level, it is not time to reach out to my divine feminine because they're just, it's just, they're just not ready yet. Okay. Because the divine feminine has to work on themselves spiritually. If they're not doing the work, okay, if they're not working on themselves, what happens? The divine masculine will then keep coming in and out of their lives. Okay. This is one way to trigger multiple dark nights of the soul, ego deaths. Okay. So if you're not doing the work and your divine masculine keeps coming in and out, is to trigger you. It's not because union is happening. It is to trigger you to get you to work on yourself for you to shed your ego because you're still thinking with your 3D mind. You're still trying to think of this as like a, a regular 3D connection um, instead of a spiritual connection. And you're not working on yourself. You're not transcending the mind, transcending the ego. You're still in that egoic way of thinking. Then there's other ways that you can have dark night of the soul, or it's like a mini denots. I like to call it that. So sometimes it'll be for like one day where you're crying uncontrollably. Like a lot of us, we had that this past week, but between the fifth and the ninth, there were a lot of divine feminines who've been feeling absolutely incredible the last month or two, right? Uh, Cause remember there was that big shift that happened on New Year's Day, well, the day after Christmas, I've talked about this recently, the day after Christmas, there was a big shift 
where the divine feminines were really, really rising. And on January 1st, we felt it tremendously really working on ourselves and kind of detaching from the whole twin flame label and journey and all that stuff. However, this past week, I think because of the new moon, a lot of us went through like a day of just sobbing, crying uncontrollably, not really sure why. And it felt like we were going backwards all of a sudden. I truly feel that it could have been us letting go of a lot of stuff because of the new moon energy. However, I do feel a lot of us were actually feeling the divine masculine's energies. And that ended up feeling like a dark night of the soul because I think we were feeling their emotions, their sadness. Um, I mean, I, I had my group call on Thursday and I was telling them what happened to me the day prior. I mean, I... I thought I was hormonal or something, but then the next, you know, the following days, I've been fine after that. Um, there was a lot of crying. I didn't know why. I, I, I had no reason to be sad. Literally nothing to do with my DM, or at least I didn't feel like there was anything to do with him. I just felt a lot, a lot of pressure on my chest, like a lot of pain. And so I had to keep, keep sending energy healing there. I put a, a rose quartz crystal on my chest. I mean, it was just intense. It was brutal. When I talked about this on my group call, some of the other girls said they, the exact, exact same thing happened to them on the same day. A lot of crying. They did the meditation, the crystal on their heart, a lot of pain on their heart. So I think there was a, a really big, powerful shift this week as well. I know I said I wasn't really going to be doing collective updates, but it's too weird um, for it to just be a coincidence, right? Too many of the Divine Feminines were feeling that way this week, and it's for a reason. I really feel that we are purging a lot of residual things that we need to let go of. So anyway, as I was saying, yes, you can have more than one ego death, and it is for you to completely shed your ego. If it's happening to you, more than once and if your divine masculine keeps coming in and out of your life and you're not doing the soul work it is for you to be in alignment with your soul it is for you to live authentically it is for you to connect with your higher self because that is what this journey is all about this journey is a very spiritual journey i know a lot of you look at as look at it as a romantic journey and yes there is romance yes there is so much love you feel unconditional love and rightfully so but you need to look within. If you are not loving yourself, if you are still uh, dating karmics, if you are still with people that you're not that you shouldn't be with, if you are still in a job that you're not fulfilled in, you know those are some of the things. If you are still drinking and doing toxic, uh, unhealthy habits, if you are just not taking care of yourself, okay. This is exactly why I said in my last video, the divine will always intervene. Okay, so and a way of intervening is going through an ego death and showing you what you need to get rid of. The ego death is to shed what no longer serves us. So if you keep having that, it's because you're not letting go of what no longer serves you. This is why we get hit with obstacle after obstacle. If you're not letting go of those relationships you're supposed to be letting go of, you're going to get hit with ego death after ego death and hard times. When you are in alignment with your soul, life is going to be so much easier. I keep saying that because it's so true. Okay? So please connect with your higher self. Okay? Be in alignment with your soul.